First, I will introduce thirteen GUI type tools. The list you see here are GUI type functions. A total of 13 features will be introduced and some will be described with demo video. The first feature is batch run creator that is used when performing batch run. At the dynamic simulation, many cases of parameter change and simulations are necessary. In each case, simulation setting and run process is not efficient. Sometimes you have to wait several hours to finish a solving. It is wasting time. To prevent this situation, batch run is necessary. If you change parameters in recordine and export them in batch run creator, RMD and RSS file is output. And the execution script is written in the run BAT file automatically. In the next chapter, I will show you how to use it in a simple way. The second feature is every beam creator. The frame of the vehicle or the support structure is often designed as a truss. In this case, the truss structure can be modeled as a beam element. Every beam creator allows a quick and simple modeling of structure composed of epiplex beam using Ricardine's geometry outline. It provides two ways to create epiplex beam. The first is to use online geometry, and the second is to use a CSV template file. I will show you how to use every beam created in more detail on the next page.
The third feature is body navigator. This function sets the rendering mode of all bodies to wireframe and change selected body to shade with wireframe. This is to make the select body appears more clearly in a complex model. To change the selected body, use the arrow button or create desired body directory. I will show you how to use body navigator on next page. The fourth feature is color copier. This function is for applying the color of a specific geometry to another geometry in Recline. If you select a specific geometry by clicking pick button, the color code is red. After clicking the pick button in color 2, select the target geometry and click the copy button to apply the selected color. This feature can be very useful when classifying multiple geometries by color. I will show you how to use color copier on the next page. The fifth feature is round PP applier. When you create recline entity, there are many of coordinates are used. At this time, it is recommended to use parametry point to define the coordinate values more clearly and accurately. When entering the coordinates of parametry point, arc center point or edge point of geometry is used. At this time, the coordinate value of the selected point may be listed to the nth place below the decimal point. It is caused by decimal translation of a binary number in memory. In this case, it is recommended to enter the values of these numbers rounded to the desired decimal point. In particular, a plane symmetry model such as Bigger. Symmetric location should be exact. It is recommended to enter the rounded number so that it is exactly symmetric. It is simple to use. In the customization tab, click the num run icon in the ProcessNet group and double click round pp to run it. Select the desired number of digits and click the reload and apply round button. Then the rounded value will appear on the right column. And when the desired value shows, click the update button to finally modify the parametric point value. Please note that PP coordinate value can be specified as equation or PV. This PP coordinate value will not change. The sixth feature is user-defined settings for users to define settings. Its function is similar to the default setting in Luka 9, but provides more various settings. How to use is as follows. In the customization tab, click the run icon in the processor group and double click user default settings to run it. Enter the export the settings in user setting window to save them in the user setting INF file. When running recording afterward, this file is read and the settings are applied. 
The seventh feature is body orientation extractor. From the simulation result of Ricardine, the orientation of body can be converted into spline data and input as a body motion profile. As a result, the same behavior as the simulation result can be reproduced. In the simulation result, the orientation of the body is displayed as below value of lower pitch and yo. At this time, you can see the output lower pitch and yo value appears between minus 180 degree to plus 180 degrees. If non-continuous angle data is input into the motion, as it is, abnormal behavior can be appeared. Therefore, it is required to convert continuous angle value and input them as a motion profile. Body orientation extract allowed to output the desired body orientation value as a continuous angle. To use this function, in the customization tab, click the run icon in the processor group and double click body operation extractor to run it. If you click the export button after selecting a body, the result of lower pitch and yo with continuous angle values are output as a CSV file. The eighth feature is ball screw contact generator. When performing ball screw modeling in Recodine, arc revolution to spear contact or geosurface contact is used. In this case, since there are many balls, it is very bothersome to define a contact that requires alternate selection between balls and surface. Therefore, the probability of making mistakes is very high. Ball screw contact generator allow to automatically process these tasks at once. Enter the name of the nuts, shaft body, arc revolution geometry, and surface geometry, and then all contacts are automatically created. Additionally, the parametric value shown below is connected to the contact parameter. This makes it easy to manage the entire contact parameter. I will show you how to use ball screw contact generator on next page.
The nice feature is aggregate mass collector, mainly required for vehicle modeling. Vehicle model has many moving bodies and one of chassis body that has dominant mass property. For some parts, the mass and moment of initial values are relatively small compared to the chassis body. Usually, in the vehicle concept simulation, total vehicle mass and inertia is set as a fixed value, and other design changes are applied such as hard point in suspension stiffness and damping. In this case, the total mass and inertia value should be same as the fixed design value. This function can calculate chassis body mass and inertia to satisfy total mass and inertia condition. I will show you how to use aggregated mass collector on the next page. The tenth feature is naming your applier. Its function is simple but very useful. When creating joint force and contact in the line, the entity name and numbers are simply assigned. This may cause confusion for users when the checking the connection information during modeling and reviewing the simulation result. Therefore, if the connection relation can be confirmed by the entity name through naming rule applier, the analysis will be much more efficient. In the customization tab, click the run icon of ProcessNet group and double click naming rule applier to run it. In the apply naming rule window, check the joint force and con contact and click the apply button to change the, the naming rule as shown in the example. The 11th feature is UMV file extractor. UMV file is a finite element analysis result file for FEMFET. That is a fatigue analysis program. Recodine allowed to extract this file after assimilation. By the way, this VMV file is in ASCII format and has a large capacity. Therefore, it takes very long time to output one FP body. If there are many FP body in the model, the process is bothersome and time consuming since it should be output separately. UMV file extractor is a convenient feature that makes the job easier. In the customization tab, click the run icon of the process network and double click export FFlex UMV to run it. In the export FFlex UMV window, select the element set of desired FFlex bodies to export and click the export button to perform UMV file output. The FLEX feature is FFLEX body connectivity changer. It allows to collectively change the connection parameter of FFLEX body and settings for FDR. In the customization tab, click the run icon in the ProcessNet group and double-click Appleplex connectivity changer to run it. In the option R-body to node, 
it is determined whether to use force or con constraint connection in the relationship between the rigid body and epiplex body nodes. Constraint connection can calculate more accurate result, but when the number of con connection increases, the calculation speed may slow down due to the computational amount increases. On the contrary, force connection may cause some displacement, so the accuracy could be relatively low. However, it is advantageous for the calculation speed since the calculation amount is small. Therefore, in the case of R body to node, the constraint method is advantageous because the number of constraint connection between plastic body and rigid body is not a large number. On the other hand, the connection of node to node, the FDR relationship means the connection between master node and slave node. So, if the number of slave node increases, the constraint method is not recommended because the same reason. The thirteenth feature is RPLEX mode selector. It is often difficult to decide which RPLEX mode to choose. The feature allows to choose the RPLEX mode automatically. The modal strain energy is calculated using modal displacement and stiffness. By calculating the values using maximum modal displacement of Q, this function compares the magnitude of each modal energy and deactivates the relatively small modes. A recording process net is a very powerful customizing tool, allowing your user to directly implement the various and convenient functions. The fun function based technical support team promised to continuously update the recording utility, which has been introduced so far, and also to add the new powerful functions and upgrade the version. Since the code of the Recodine utility is publicly available. 
you can modify them as necessary. You can download the recline utility through the URL currently displayed on the screen. It has been a long journey, but hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Bye.